approximately half of the University of Virginia's housing areas serve first-year students. As of August 2013, there are two main areas for first-year housing and another dormitory complex to maintain enrollment growth during ongoing dormitory construction. The first and oldest area is the site of the McCormick Road dormitories, often referred to as old dorms. The dorms were built after World War II to accommodate a national growth in college enrollment, due in part to the GI. Although older and without modern amenities like central air conditioning, the dorms are located closer to central grounds and the rooms are slightly larger. The houses that make up the McCormick Road dormitories are Benicassel, Dabney, Eccles, Emmett, Hancock, Humphreys, Kent, Lefebvre, Metcalf, and Page. Although the original houses were built in the 1960s and featured suite-style living, the area was referred to as new dorms. Since then, the university has embarked on a project to replace the structures with newer dorms that will facilitate a growth in enrollment and provide incoming first years with modern amenities. As of August 2013, the university has demolished 11 of the original structures and completed five larger dormitories to take their places. The newest dorms are Balls Doby, Watson Webb, Lyle Maupin, Tuttle Dunnington, and Shannon. Additionally, Kellogg was completed in 2008 and served as a model for the Alderman Road replacement project. All of the newest dorms feature hall-style living, unlike their predecessors. Brown College, Hereford College, and the International Residential College are the residential colleges of the university. These involve an application process to live there, and are filled with both upper-class and first-year students. Casa Bolivar, named in honor of Simon Bolivar, houses about two dozen upper-class undergraduate students, providing them with an atmosphere to improve their Spanish and to earn one academic credit in the process. Due to the ongoing construction, the university has converted the Gooch Dillard upperclassmen dormitories into first-year housing. These two houses are suite-style, where each suite holds up to six or seven students. Gooch Dillard is the only housing that features permanent triples, although sparingly. Gooch Dillard is farthest from central grounds, but is close to a smaller dining hall called Runk. Upperclassmen can apply for on-grounds housing as well although their options are limited. The chances of receiving a housing assignment diminish as students advance into later years. Second years will almost certainly have on-grounds housing if they choose to apply. Upperclassmen can be assigned to Lambeth, Vice, Faulkner, Copley, including undergraduate transfer students, Johnson, Malone, and Whedon. Lambeth is made up of on-grounds apartments for groups of four or six students and is closest to central grounds. Near the New South Lawn Commons area, Vice is a single apartment building that also offers units for four or six students. Faulkner and Copley are far removed from central grounds, sitting on newer university property that is generally referred to as North Grounds. Lastly, Johnson, Malone, and Whedon, JMW, are dormitories that were created along with Hereford College. The housing units that permit families are Copley Hill Apartments and University Gardens. Residents of Copley Hill are zoned to Greer Elementary School, Jaut Middle School, and Albemarle High School. University Gardens is zoned to Venable Elementary School, Walker Upper Elementary School, Buford Middle School, and Charlottesville High School.